What it is, is we have at our facility a large chamber. It actually fits 12 people, so it's a multi-place chamber. And we have an inside observer, a tech, that goes in with the patients during their treatment every time. And we give the patients 100% oxygen at pressure, which is equivalent of about 40 feet of pressure. So if you were underwater 40 feet, that's the amount of pressure you would have. And what that does is it pushes the oxygen further into the tissues than you would normally get oxygen to go just by blood flow alone. So for patients where the blood flow and oxygen is, the levels aren't high enough, um, they can help heal a wound. We use hyperbaric oxygen therapy for a number of things. What people recognize it mostly for is for diving injury like the bends. Um, living in Utah we don't see a lot of that but occasionally we do when patients fly back from their trips to the Caribbean. The other thing that a lot of people recognize it with is carbon monoxide poisoning. On a daily basis what we use it for is wound healing. So certain wounds that are hypoxic, which do not have enough blood flow to heal their wounds, it's good use for that. So compromised surgical grafts or flaps, those types of things. Um, we also see a lot of problems in tissue where the tissue's been irradiated, so patients who have had radiation therapy before, um, that tissue does not have good blood flow or oxygen, so if they have to have a surgery in that area, those wounds won't heal. Also, if somebody has, say, been treated for prostate cancer, then they get radiation to their bladders, and the bladder tissue um, cannot maintain itself and we get a lot of bleeding and so hyperbaric oxygen therapy will help to heal those types of tissues as well. Um, we also use it a lot for diabetics. Um, diabetic foot ulcers really um, do well with hyperbaric oxygen therapy by increasing the blood flow and oxygen to those wounds um, that we see in diabetics. The treatments involve usually every day, Monday through Friday, um, for two hours. And we do 30 minutes of oxygen and give you a five minute break and we do that three times and then we come back up to the surface. During the time while they're actually in the chamber, it's pretty boring. We do have a TV and we let them watch a movie if they want to. Some people sleep, some people bring a book in. Um, that's about all that's allowed in there. We can't bring any electronics in there at all, um, nothing that will potentially spark or start a fire. You know, I think one of the biggest things is that patients don't need to wait to have a referral from their physicians to come to see us. Um, they can call us, they can schedule an appointment if they have a wound that's not been healing um, or you know, want us to take a look at something, it's, it's easy for them to just call themselves and make an appointment. For more information about this physician or to schedule an appointment, please call our referral line or visit notbiggerjustbetterhealth.com.